Established in 1937, Eaton Detroit Spring is your source to get the correct leaf and coil springs for your vehicle. We have over 24,000 OEM spring blueprints and over 166,000 stock spring applications are available. If you have a custom application in mind, let us know and our design staff can accommodate your specific needs. With our 70 plus years of manufacturing experience, we will produce for you the finest springs available. Eaton Detroit Spring, made in the USA, in Detroit. Uh, we have 1965 Corvette road race car. We dynoed the engine at over 900 horsepower. It's not a street engine. It's a 13 and a half to one roller cam 565 cubic inch big block Chevy. We widened the fenders on the car for the large wheels. Everything got custom painted, everything got chrome plated, but underneath all that is this hardcore race car that's meant to be road raced. I am going to drive this car on the street. We're going to do some autocrossing with it and a couple select limited road race events where there's no body contact. I eat, sleep and breathe custom cars. I like working on my own cars at home in the garage and I have a very humble home and a humble garage. As a kid I loved cars, I grew up loving cars. In grade school I knew what I was going to do when I grew up. I was going to build custom cars. This is a 1933 Ford Victoria. It's a fiberglass car but it was in pretty rough condition. We probably got about 2,500 hours going over the body. The fenders have been pie cut and brought in. They also have been chopped off in the front and in the back. The back's been squared off. The back lights are all custom. The engine's a 572, 650 horsepower. The theme is sly of the car. Like a sneaky car, it's pretty custom interior. Top's chopped as you can see. Front and rear is Kugel. It's chrome drive shaft. So far the crowds really like the car. Got a lot of people said they're rooting for this car to take the Riddler. We're tickled that it made the grade eight, and it seems to be a real popular car on the show. Terry Wayne was really instrumental in building the car with me. He's wound up being a good friend of mine. And the great thing about this car, it was done in garages. It was all done by a bunch of garage guys, mechanics, who wound up being great friends of mine. And we think that's special, because a lot of the cars here are done by professional builders. None of these guys are professionals. They're all hot rod guys. I'm Bob, and I'm a backyard wrench head, and proud of it. This car we have called Timeless, and it is a 1932 Ford Roadster that is entirely, totally hand-built. The drivetrain in this car is an original 1957 Chrysler 300C 392 Hemi. It has prototype next-generation Hillborn fuel injection, 640 horsepower, and it goes through a Tremec six-speed manual transmission. The entire undercarriage of the car is chrome plated. The condition of the car when we got it consisted of a cowl and everything else has been hand built. All of the fenders are two layers, both an inner fender and an outer fender. All the sheet metal work is basically hand done to resemble the 1932 Ford. And the theme of this car is the hourglass. If you look at the wheel centers, it has the hourglass. If you look at the valve cover fasteners, it's the hourglass. The dog's name is Hoochie Mama, and uh, she, has been, she has been to more car shows, and it's funny because people say, oh, that's the car that goes with the dog. Basically what we have here is a 1930 Model A, uh, kind of built it as a traditional hot rod. The chassis hand built, Butch Dalker, friend of mine, built this chassis. We basically built this out of my garage. We've chopped it, channeled the body, just wanted to make it a traditional hot rod. The body was in really good condition. Uh, still sent it out, had it media blasted, started from scratch. Then just started doing all the body work in my garage at home, working on it every night after work, basically. 
since the car's been here, the response has been fabulous. I, I was overwhelmed when I pulled this car in here two nights ago, how many people swarmed around this thing, and it's just, it's been overwhelming. As far as paint, I, I like the satin black, which is what we put on it, but I, I didn't want to do the roof. I didn't want to do the whole car that it was too much, so we just picked a color. I picked a candy orange and put some flake in it and did the roof, and then had a little bit of striping and a little bit of striping and lettering put on it, and I, I'm real happy with the way it turned out. Yeah, on the wheels and tires, I just kind of wanted an old school look. I just went with steel wheels, and I, you can pick your offset a little bit easier. This stuff is addicting. It is an addiction that once it gets in your heart, you you can't stop working on these cars and building them. I'm Kurt, and I'm a backyard wrench head. Okay, it's a 26 Ford sedan, I'd say semi-traditional car, uh, home built, you know, very little money in this thing, uh, just parts I had uh, laying around the shop, uh, 265 small block Chevy, 1956, 350 transmission in it, 9-inch uh, Ford rear end, it's got a 3-inch chop on it, approximately an 8-inch channel on the car to get it sit so low. Uh, the uh, car was in actually pretty good condition. The bottom four inches of it were rotted out, and that was easy to patch up. The prior owner had cut six inches out of the car and uh, out of the chop, and uh, he had it all foobarred up, so I had to do what I could do, put three inches back in it to make it work, you know. Yeah, this is my first time here at the Detroit Auto Ram. i got to say it's probably one of the best shows I've been at. Crowd response is excellent, no negative anything. Everybody's real cool just hanging out laying back BSing about uh, cars and just you know loving the hobby and the lifestyle you know and that's about it. Pretty much busted ass on it the last two months to get it here just specifically for this show down here you know and uh, just super late nights and not sleeping and, and not doing anything but living in the garage and just lots of beers popping and uh, you know not a lot of sleep and uh, boss was too happy with me but hey life goes on you know. All right my name's Dale and I'm a backyard wrench head. This special edition of Backyard Wrench Heads TV was brought to you by Eaton Detroit Spring. Made in the USA in Detroit.